folks. I don't know if you saw the movie Avatar. Maybe I am one. Maybe we all are one. They got this really cool helicopter. You saw the movie that has gimbal rotor blades like this. Well, got a new one. Here it is right here. I'm in the process of taking it out of the box. You should have seen the charger that they gave. Interesting, huh? Okay, 2.4 gigahertz. It looks cool. Kind of rotating. How's this come out? Okay, here's the transmitter. 2.4 gigahertz. Well, that's got a neat feel to it. Okay, well, Bob's assisting me here. That's Wild Bob's RC, and uh, we're opening up the Avatar. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you can see this entire book of instructions here is uh, I'm having a, just a difficult time reading it. I'm not even sure what kind of battery it has or what the controls do other than kind of the pictures. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and put it on charge. We'll see how it does. And it did come with spare props. Only two, it looks like. can't tell where I'm at Bobby you know I got caught up in the breeze and then didn't have enough forward to fly back into the wind then I got disoriented as this thing looks like no other model I thought Bob ran out in the street thought we we're gonna crash I was gonna have a tree strike or we'll something forward. but I'll tell you what this kept me busy well, I added a steel washer to the nose since this flight so now it flies forward into the wind a whole lot better I'm trying to man can't go forward. Got full forward on it. There it goes. What? Well, now that I got it trimmed, I'm going to figure this out. That weight on the front is important. Okay, I think I got this figured out. This left and right makes it slide left and right. It's different than the tail rotor. Tail rotor makes it go like this. But this one slides it so it's interesting. This side makes it turn this way. This is tail rotor. And forward and backward. OK. 
Okay. Well, pretty cool, but uh, you know, if you're a helicopter pilot, having the controls backwards, you're gonna have a hard time learning to fly this. Uh, panic and uh, I go the wrong way. This thing needs to be in mode two. Well, I opened the transmitter to see if I could switch the controls. It's gonna take some thinking and I have to cut some circuit lands and then make jumpers and recalibrate the transmitter. Right now, I'm just gonna leave it as is and save it for a winter project and uh, I'll learn to fly it as it is. Well, please stay tuned for the mini beetle review coming up next. And if you subscribe, you're gonna get notified by email when it has been made public, so please do. Thanks so very kindly and happy flying.